Hello everyone, my name is Moses and you are welcome to Stable Rock Farms. Uh, on today's episode, I am going to take you around our pig pens. We had a massive renovation of our pig pens and uh, I just want to show you that uh, progress, that update. I will leave a link somewhere here to see our previous video on our, uh, on our pig pens, on how they looked and then uh, in this video we'll see how they currently look so let's get right into it uh right off the bat you will notice that uh here we have the entrance and we covered this we we have two doors here the first is the one with the nets as you can see and this is here to ensure that uh flies and other flying insects don't have an easy access into the pen uh, it also adds as a layer of uh, security and then once you open this you will notice that we have the actual you know metal reinforced uh, double doors this is mainly for physical security right you to prevent someone from having access into the pig pen uh, to prevent the pigs from uh, stepping out of their pens also so these are the two doors we have and then here if you look under here you will notice that we have uh, a, a liquid solution in here. Here, we before we step into the pen, we dip our legs into uh, this solution. And the idea is to make sure that uh, whatever bacteria you bring outside the farm, you, 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 you basically, it stops at the door here. Um, also, if you notice, we have our... Uh, our jackets, uh, our staff has theirs, and everybody who has access to these pens, they have their jackets to cover up uh, to ensure that less uh, bacteria that you brought from outside the farm gets into the pen. Uh, another thing we have here, we have the wash hand basins. Uh, what we do here, uh, before you step into uh, the pen, you wash your, your hands. Again, it's for the same reason as dipping your leg into the solution. The idea is to make sure uh, whatever bacteria uh, that are on your hands don't step into the pen with, uh, with you. Uh, these are a few of the biosecurity measures we have put in place shortly before stepping into the pen. So now let's go in uh, so that you can see. So here, what we have here uh, uh, is pen one of three. So we have three pig pens, and this is the first of uh, uh, those three. And what happens here is that how this is designed, we have 20 individual pens. Maybe you can take a look at this one. So as you can see how this looks, we have 20 of these. And if I could just give you a little overview of uh, what it entails, as you, you have noticed, there is uh, a metal door here. Again, is for security to ensure the pigs don't uh, easily step out of their pen unless we want them to. So once this is locked here, you'll notice that it's impossible for the pigs to go out. Uh, here, if you can just take a look here, is where uh, their feed is distributed. We will come in, in the mornings uh, and in the evenings and their feed is put in there and then uh, you can, as you can see we have our, our pig here uh, if you notice here we have some nipple drinkers and the idea is that uh, the pigs uh, drink their water from there uh, it ensures the pigs always have water to drink uh, it's also a way of encouraging them to drink water because uh, they're curious animals right so they always go there put their mouth on it uh, they drink right so you know pigs you always 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 want your pigs to drink a lot of water because it helps in number one keeping them safe it helps in ensuring uh they grow very fast big and as a farmer these are some of the key things you are looking out for in your in your pigs uh also uh if you notice under the nipple drinkers there's a little construction and uh it's a little raised structure sorry. it's a raised structure here where uh once the pigs drink water 
the little water that drops from the nipple drinkers, it goes into a hole. Maybe it can come in, and and, and it will be easier for for everyone to understand. So, if you can notice, we have in this particular tent, we have three uh, nipple drinkers, and there is a little opening here where whatever water is collected here goes into that hole and out of the pen and goes straight into our water channel so and if you notice the, this is also a little it's big enough for the pigs to lie in there so you know pigs love to wallow sometimes right so they sit in there they cool down sometimes they, they just play with the nipple drinker so that the water pours on their body or they just move around in there so that's a, another added advantage uh for the pigs and what they do and then um on the floor here, uh, we manage we, what we, we do. We do a deep litter system on this farm. So what does that mean? Uh, if you notice here, we have some wood shavings uh, on the floor. And what we do is we introduce this. We have a cemented floor. And then after that, we pour these wood shavings on it. About uh, two inches or so? Two feet. Two feet, sorry. About two feet of... Uh, Wood shavings is here, right? So, what happens is about two or three times in a week, we have um, a liquid IMO solution that we have locally prepared ourselves. Uh, I There's a video that I have put out already on that. I'll leave a link somewhere for you to see. So, we have that liquid solution that we prepare and we spray it on this wood shavings about two or three times in a week what that does is it aids in breaking down uh the bacteria breaking down the waste breaking down the urine from the pigs and all of that now it does that it also ensures that the pen does not smell right one of the biggest um uh problems challenges for farmers is that your livestock farm is uh it's, it's, it smells right mm. there's some sort of odor that it, you don't like and you, you want to have a no smell farm and this IMO solution greatly greatly helps with that you could easily uh, have a meal in here because there's no smell right so all our staff need to do is uh, they come in the mornings uh, take out the big chunks of the pig waste and then leave the rest so they spray the IMO solution uh, they use maybe like a rake to just turn the wood shavings anywhere they see maybe somewhere here like this You know where you notice that it's going down a little you just come and add a new batch of wood shavings to it So that you have some kind of uniformity and that's it. You leave it for about six months And by then the IMO solution has been helping you know on a weekly basis You are spraying about two or three times. So after six months the IMO solution will help break down all of these wood shavings and it becomes a rich source of manure for uh, your crop farm. You know, six months of the pig waste going in there, six months of uh, the urine, six months of the IMO solution being sprayed on it. So it makes it very, very rich. So um, these are some of the features of the upgraded uh, 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 pig pen we have. If you notice on the walls, there's some sort of... Uh, paint here so what what we did here we first applied screening on, on the on the wall and then we applied an oil paint now why did we do this if you notice uh it's the pen is beginning to get dirty already now this is the advantage of of this type of uh uh painting we're going with we did screening it makes it into a very smooth surface and then an oil paint was 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 painted on top right so now, now that you see it's beginning to get dirty, in another maybe week or two, when our staff feel like uh, this has become too dirty and they want this place to become clean, all they need to do is just take a cloth, dab it into some water, put some detergent on it, and they come and wipe on this. Once they wipe on it, it becomes clean again. Now, that ensures you always, always have a clean pig farm. You, it's appealing to you as a farmer it's, it's healthy for the pigs and it's all around a win-win for, for everybody involved
so that is what we did uh, on the walls. Uh, and then, um, you know, as you can see, there's enough ventilation uh, for maybe you could just do a round tour for them to see. There's enough space to ensure there's ventilation for uh, all of the pigs. And again, uh, you, if you notice, there's a net behind to ensure we don't have flies or other insects flying into, into the pen. Uh, what else you can see we have lights uh, fixed uh, fixture everywhere uh, there's water so the pigs are very comfortable they get their meals twice a day at 8 p.m. and uh, at 3 4 p.m. 4 8 p.m. and 4 p.m. so uh, they're well taken care of they get their vaccines on time they get their medication they get a lot of water as you can see from these nipple drinkers And that's basically it for this first pen. So I will be taking you to pen two of three now. So let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, here we have our pen two of three. Uh, we just finished the tour of the first pen. And here we're at the second pen. And it's exactly the same thing, right? So we have the net. We have uh, the wash hand basin. Uh, when you come here, you dip your feet into the solution. We have the metal uh, double doors. Uh, we have the locks for when uh, the, the pen is not in use. Uh, so let, come inside and let's, let me show you around. So here you can see that uh, we have uh, the second pen. The difference between this pen and that one is that that one has 20 rooms and they are eight feet by five feet. While this one has 10 rooms, but they are 12 feet by 12 feet. So these rooms are much bigger than uh, the previous one. If you can take a look, you will notice that they're much bigger than, uh, than the other one, right? So uh, it's the exact same thing. Uh, we've got the screening, the paints. We've got the place they eat their food. We've got nipple drinkers. As you can see, one of the pigs is just uh, uh, sitting or rather just lying in there where they drink their water. It's cold uh, It's wet. So they like to enjoy it there uh, When they are in the mood they come back down and they enjoy uh, the wood shavings. So it's the exact same thing you see here and uh, We've got lights. We've got water uh, Oh, Here we have in this In this cans we have our IMO solution that I talked about right so just take a look at our previous one of our previous videos just when you go there you will see a video on how we make this iml solution you we take it from this jug we pour it into uh, a knapsack sprayer we pour some water to dilute it and we spray it on the wood shavings and even on the pigs too uh about two or three times a week uh, and then that's it so that's it about uh, this second pen. I, I, I don't want to bore you with some more details because it's very similar to the first one. The only difference is in the size, right?
So let's go to the third of uh, the three pens and, and, and see what it's all about. So uh, here we have the third pen, the third pick pen, right? So this one is a little different compared to the other two. And uh, once we go in there, you will see, uh, see what I'm talking about. And uh, for uh, the outside, the, the design is similar. We have the double doors, right? Then we have the padlocks for when uh, uh, the pen is not in use. Uh, we have the net covering to ensure that uh, flies and other insects don't have easy access into the pen. Uh, let's go in there and see uh, the dimensions and what this pen is, is used for. So here, as you can see, like I mentioned, uh, uh, renovations are still ongoing. So uh, that's why you see people working in here. But um, if you just take a look at this pen, it's much larger than the first two pens right so this is uh about 20 feet by 20 feet 25 by 25 feet right so it's massive and the idea is that this is going to serve as a finisher pen so all the pigs when we are ready to sell when they have reached their mature weight that we feel are comfortable to sell we bring those pigs here Right, so because it's still under uh, renovation, that's why you don't see those pigs here. So uh, just take a look, uh, and that's what uh, this pen is. And we have four of these in here, in this particular pen, there are four. Um, uh, over here, if you can just follow me. We have uh, some, of, uh, some machines that are being installed on the farm right now that help grind and help mix uh, 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 livestock feed, but it's still uh, being worked on. In fact, I'll, I'll put out a video very soon on that for you to see. So while that is ongoing, we currently manually uh, uh, mix our feed for, for our livestock. And currently this is where we do that, right? Uh, the place is big, it's clean, and uh, it's, uh, you know, uh, we, we put some uh, chemicals and things like that to ensure the pen is very clean and we mix our feed here for now. So that's that's what this uh, one currently does. Uh, over here, you notice we have a whole lot of uh, wood shavings, right? Uh, because this is, uh, today's date is uh, 4th, 4th of April and it's not, it hasn't started raining here yet while we're, we're, we're in Nigeria and in the part of the country we're in it hasn't started raining yet so what we usually do we stack up uh these wood shavings for a while so that by the time the rainy season comes this becomes very scarce right so we have enough to last us about six months right so what is going to happen is you know we we, we practice a debilitator system here so our pigs our goats our sheep our cattle our birds you know, turkeys, uh, geese, uh, 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 chicken, all of them would practice a depleter system for them. So we need a whole lot of wood shavings. So we pile them up, we store them, so that whenever we need to replace wood shavings or add wood shavings to a particular pen, we just come, we pick it up from here, and we take it there. So that even when the rainy season comes, we are not in short supply, right? So here we have wood shavings. And here we have sawdust, right? So once this pen has been fully renovated, this will be moved to a proper storage. This will be moved to a proper housing unit for feed mixing. And then this place will be used fully as, um, as, a, as a finisher pen, right? So maybe just come in so that we can take a look at the features of this pen. So when our pigs are ready to be sold, uh, and this place has been fully renovated. Uh, we'll bring back those pigs here. Here we have three massive areas that they can feed on. So you can see we have some things piled up here, but when that is complete, it's, it's, uh, their food is going to be there. Uh, as you can notice, we have several nipple drinkers for their water needs, uh, a place for them for the water to go down and go out of the pen 
and a place for them to lie and wallow in. So um, again, you can see the uh, the type of painting that I talked about earlier. All you need to bring a cloth and you clean it. You can see even with my hand, the dirt is coming off, right? So imagine, imagine you put it, you put a cloth uh, with detergent and you wipe it. That's how it comes off easily. So uh, this is this is really really going to ensure our pen is always clean. As you can see, uh, if you can turn it around, light light is being fixed here, light fixture. So that is uh, the finishing uh, touch for this pen, and then the renovation for this pen will be complete. So as you saw from the pen one and two, the renovation is complete, and the pen three, which is this one, uh, in about less than a week. Uh, the renovation here will be complete also and then uh, all the pigs will be moved here so let me just give a quick uh, uh, explanation on how this why we have three pens and and what happens in these three pens the first pen is uh, you could call it a maternity pen right so all the pregnant uh, sows and gills stay there right and then the boars also stay there right so we have about five boars six boars we have uh two duroc boars the two mm -hmm. the males we have two large white boars we have uh two land raised boars and then uh we have three local breeds so ah, we actually have a lot of boars we have nine boars right so they each have their pen in the first pen that i, I mentioned right <laughs> and then the other, uh, what, about 13 or so? No, 11. The other 11 pens goes to uh, the pregnant, the pregnant gills and sows, right? So that is what the first pen is for. Then the second pen, right? <laughs> if you notice, the second pen is a little bigger than the first one. Why? Because the second pen is going to house... Uh, wind the wind piglets uh some other female pig piglets and um, sorry all some other female pigs that are not pregnant right mm. they are housed there so you could have uh, a few in one particular pen but in the first pen the rooms are a little smaller because it's meant for one pig per pen right if a if a sow is pregnant you don't want to have her staying with others right so that is the difference between the first and the second pen uh, in size and then the third which is this one as you can see is massive and the reason is because it's a finisher pen right you could have 20 you could have 30 uh finishers here that are ready to be sold to uh to uh our customers our clients oh by the way we had a massive sale uh, uh just about two weeks ago uh and it's been amazing for us it's been, been an amazing journey and amazing growth and usually, uh, and that's why the reason, that's why you see uh, the sodas had already been introduced here, even though the place was still under renovation, right? Mm -hmm. It's because we had so many finishers here that we had just recently sold. So even though this place was being renovated, we still had uh, those, those finishers here. So um, I believe that is everything on our renovated um, uh, pig pen. Uh, I have talked about the sizes. I have talked about uh, the deep litter system we practice. I've talked about the, the water system, how they drink their water. Uh, I have talked about what type of pigs go into what type of pens. Uh, I don't know if I'm missing anything. If there's anything you would like to know that I have probably not mentioned, I've forgotten to mention, just uh, state it in the comment section and I'll definitely answer. Um, we we'll appreciate it if you subscribe subscribe to this page so that you can see all of our updates uh how we mix their feeds uh, what kind of vaccinations we give them uh how um at what month uh we try to cross them and so many other types of videos just uh follow uh subscribe us or follow us on our social media handles in the description uh, like this video so that uh, more can have access to it. The more likes you get, the more people see it. And uh, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again.